Moon. Uh, Paul Slack is here. Good news. Planet. We're at the uh, Loeb uh, uh, residence, I think, for the summer. And we're here with a, a couple good Samaritans out here to help to raise some money for ALS. Uh, your name is? My name is Stacy Geisinger, and I am from StacyKnows.com. I have a lifestyle blog, and I've been, oh. I've been challenged to the ice bucket challenge, and this seemed like the best way to do it. Great. And yourself? <laughs> My name is Chris Ruby. I am with Ruby Media Group. I have a PR firm, and I have been challenged to do this ice bucket challenge, and we're super excited to be here for Nick Loeb's event today. So what do you mean? You're, like, literally going to, like, get the ice on, on, on the top of your head? We're going to do it. Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to get ice, and we're going <laughs> to also donate to the cause as well. Uh huh. Okay. So, so why, 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 why would you come out? I mean, you know, you're. What do you live out here? You come out here for the summer or stuff, or what brings you literally to take some time out of your day to do this? Well, it's a good cause, and you know, we're we're here, and we want to support the cause. So, we're we're gonna get dumped on. <laughs> <laughs> we're from Westchester, and uh, spend the summer out here in Stacy's. Boat with me Hampton. yeah uh -huh. okay and so do you do other nice good Samaritan kind of work and uh, outreach let's call it in your life absolutely yeah I do a lot of outreach out to Stacy and I think what's most interesting about this is the social media component of it how this whole thing went viral um, but they've really raised a lot of money I think it's over 50 million. it was like I read this morning it was 53.3 million that was of yesterday so yeah. when we go it'll be 53.3 and 100 <laughs> or 200 <laughs> One more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's all good. I, I mean, I think 3,000 people have said they were coming to this, so yeah. I hope Nick's ready oh, to write really? the big check. Wow. Because, <laughs> you know, Nick's writing a check for 100 per person. Yeah. I hear that. I hear that. I so, think it's great. So I hope all 3,000 people show up because, you know. And I love what he's doing here with this whole blowout concept afterwards for all of these women that get their hair, like, ruined after the challenge. Right. They have a pop-up, like, blow-dry bar right here which is kind of fascinating. I've never seen anything like that. Uh -huh. So uh, he's like, it was a genius idea. It's like a movie time here. They yeah. have a, they have uh, a, only a, in the truck. Hamptons. Only in the Hamptons, but <laughs> yeah. they have a blow dry event at the uh, yeah. bucket challenge. Yes, it's going to be good. I think it makes all we good sense. Wait. I All think right. if you had told people in advance, you'd have more girls here. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, that's, there you go. They, they would not have to go to uh, the beauty parlors. That's it. For this. Exactly. So, so let me ask you one last last question. Uh, um, what's good news for you? Oh, good news is raising a lot of money and helping a lot of people. Okay. And for you? I agree. All right. Okay. <laughs> They're a team. All right. Are you gonna Are you gonna put the water on top of each other? I don't know how that's working. We can. Maybe. I, 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 that, I would love to dump a bucket of water on <laughs> yes, our head. Yes, oh my yes. God! Now we're having fun. Now, you know, I wasn't excited about it until you mentioned that. Okay. Well, I don't know if they're doing it that way, but uh, I only know this. Actually, I I learned about it, uh, and you know, it makes me feel really good. I mean, I'm getting goose pimples because my nieces. Uh, my niece's daughters, all right, uh, uh, three of them, she has three girls, um, did it. Oh. And they did it for my, my brother-in-law and then the dad and, you know, whatever. And so they sent this video to, you know, the family. And uh, actually, I hadn't heard about it. And uh, um, and they, I, they're they open enough to say, you know, broadcast it, uh, you know, Uncle Paul. And so I did, and I have it on our Good News Wait, broadcast. Wait, so Uncle Paul, have you, have, have you been dumped you on yet? I, I, I haven't been. <laughs> like I have, today could be I your day. Yeah, I, today I, could be your day. You know, I, I, I probably would consider, I, I don't know. Maybe I will. <laughs> I don't know. I have like three other uh, important uh, uh, things to do today. Well, that's the Hamptons. Uh, we have a lot here. of important things to do. That's true. <laughs> and so it's a question of getting wetter and uh, getting dry for the next uh, event yeah. uh, meaning you know good Samaritans it's a beautiful place that is so the next one's for pets right, all right? Okay. and the Very next one after that here. is prostate cancer and uh, and so you know the Hamptons and we have good news Hamptons and we've been doing Hampton shows for a long time and I have a place in Montauk so uh, this is for us and I'm from Worcester so uh, this is all it's so nice out here what, what what is it about the Hamptons for you guys what brings you out here instead of like little Tarrytown where I grew up <laughs> Well, there's the ocean. You know, there's ocean and uh, just everything is good here. Like the soil somehow brings like the best fruits and vegetables. And you have the ocean right around the block. Okay. It's a great uh, escape. It's a great escape. All right, beautiful. Let me ask one last question because we, uh, we do the World Peace Day event in uh, Central Park on September 21st for the International Day of Peace. And uh, what is peace to you? 
Well, peace would be when my children are sleeping and so is my husband. But you mean world peace? <laughs> world peace? Well, no, that's, that's a big, I can understand that. Peace to me would be that the bombings would stop in Israel and that the world would get along. And yourself? Yeah, I mean, just this, this, what we're seeing right now on the, the news is really crazy every single day. So peace would be something where, again, like that's stopping and everyone's getting along more so than we are right now. All right, beautiful. Uh, thank you so much for, for sharing good news with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so where am I? Okay. I thought it's way out there. Okay, hi, I'm here with Rick Pepino. Hi, Rick, how are you? Nice to meet you. And, but here, when I say here, I'm really nice. here. Here, uh, here in the head. When, here in the head stream, Alterna head stream. Wow. All right, the name of the company again? Alterna Hair Care. All it's right. It's their hair stream. And you, uh, tell us about it. Well, uh, we're here to support ALS today, to give contribute blowouts after people get their buckets of you know ice all over the head they're going to come in and get a blowout from us the team and alterna hair care alterna hair care is one of the first luxury hair care lines that gives all high performance products without using any uh, paraben sulfates any natural ingredients we use all really pure ingredients in our products uh -huh. great. and so are you the uh, creator of the, of the products line? no i'm not the creator but i'm like the more on the creative side with the brand representing it ambassador type of thing. Okay. okay, and this like Airstream or uh, whatever we're the in here? Airstream here is our new port of uh, location, portable hair that we can actually support and we go to different events and we're based oh. in the, the Hamptons for the summer, uh, for the rest of the summer anyhow, then we're bringing it back to New York and then we're going to do certain functions over the year using the, using the hair stream. Now to be here at a, uh, you know, in essence a charity event uh, mm -hmm. to raise money for ALS, uh, team must feel pretty good? The team, feel, team, team feel great. They're very excited about being here for the afternoon and support the event as much as possible. I know that he's donating uh, 100 bucks to everyone that gets dunked. So <laughs> when they get dunked, they come in here and we blow out their hair and make them look good and feel back and go back to the party. All right, beautiful. Yeah. All right, well, thank you. What's good news for you? What's good news for me? Yes. Healthy, wonderful life. Enjoy life as much as possible. Beautiful. All right, Rick. Thank you so much. Thanks very much. Nice meeting you. Okay. Okay. Hi, your name is? Catherine Lee. Hi. Hi, Catherine. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm great. Now, how do you feel right now? You're uh, getting your hair done. All kinds of things. I'm doing, I'm getting my hair done. I'm celebrating my birthday for the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge that Nick Globe and I and other host committee uh, um, is hosting for this great cause. And um, yeah, so for everyone that does the Ice Bucket Challenge, Nick is donating, donating $100 and uh, for the girls, they can come here and get their hair blown out. Complimentary. Now, did you get your, did they, uh, dress? Well, let's get okay. to the bottom of this. What's the deal here? Did you get, uh, well, I it don't look too wet to me. I'm, I'm gonna do it later. I, right. I was uh, prepping for the party, you know, yeah. organizing, event planning, you know, trying to make the party uh, look fabulous. You know, get my hair, I can promote, I can go out and promote them. I got my hair blown out by Alterna Hair Care over here at the hair streaming uh, station and I'm going to do the challenge maybe later towards the end of the party and then do my hair again. <laughs> so that's actually a perfect concept. It's a great concept yeah. because one is you're, you're doing, doing good. You're helping everybody by right. making this thing happen, yes. and uh, you're looking good, and there's nothing wrong with looking good. Yeah. And these people are obviously quite talented, and they know how to right. help people look good. And then at the end of the party, when you're exhausted, because it's a pretty warm day, you're oh, going to get so nice. uh, some wait. ice on you, right? Right, right. And I just want to thank everyone for coming. Thank you for our sponsors, and uh, thank you for everyone for participating in this event. Beautiful. What's good news for you? Good news in any aspect of your life. What's good news? That everyone is happy and having fun. Yeah. Couldn't be said better. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. What's your hi name? Guys. Gil. Oh, hi, Gil. Paul nice Slack. You. Nice to meet you. Hi. Okay, I'm here with Gil. Hi, Gil. How are you? I'm very, very well. All For right. Gil, and I'm with your... Behind, behind me is Gil's... Uh, Beautiful, magnificently looking, uh, what do they call it, an airstream? Is that it's right? called an airstream. We're at the edge of the beginning, so it's like a hairstream. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the... <laughs> yeah, and this is our first event with Alterna and Rick Pepino. Very excited. Oh, great. All right. And uh, what, uh, what, why are you excited, would I'm you say? I'm very excited because uh, this is like an iconic uh, uh, 
airstream which the astronaut uh, used in NASA to transfer the astronaut from the shuttle to the spaceship and back from 1983 and it was like two years of uh, restoring this one, working hard, bringing people from Texas, special people to uh, Polish and doing so many work and it's very excited to see it work finally. Wow, so you're telling me that this has something to do with NASA? Yes, this is the official uh, astronaut bus. NASA called uh, the bus like uh, the Astrovan. Oh my God! All right, we're, we call ourselves I, don't, I don't have my air, my business card, but our business uh, with me right now. But I'll throw it in. Uh, uh, our our business card is the picture of NASA from yes. NASA of the planet. Yeah. When they took the Apollo and they went up into the sky. Yeah. And uh, the the sun got behind the Apollo, so they were able to film, you know, video wise the planet. You know, it's a big lighting job. So uh, oh, that's cool. by the, uh, by the moon, uh, the sun behind it, they made it happen. So the Apollo uh, and uh, NASA, they do such great things. So that's a big honor. You own this thing? Yeah, I own this You were able one. to buy it? Wow. I bought it from a pilot. Uh, I was staying in Texas for three days till he decided I'm the right guy to take it. Uh, Airstream oh, people it. are very sensitive for who they're going to give Airstream and who are going to be the next person to take care of that. Uh, so I'm very happy that I was lucky to have this one. There is very few, maybe like 10 of those left. So Wow, congratulations. Yeah. What's good news for you? Uh, what's good news for me? I'm very happy to see all the people working, you know, working inside. Looks great. Everything finally is working. It was like a lot of uh, mechanic work and finally to see it work. So it's great. All right, thanks, Gil. Thanks Thank so you much. very, very much. Enjoy the day. <laughs> 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 Have your nominations. And we'd like to nominate Mike Basso and Jeff Psycho. <laughs> All right, guys, you have 24 hours. All right, good job. Check out ALS. <laughs> Fuck ALS. All right. Okay. What is your name? Oh, my God. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Alan Kennedy, Daniel. And his name? Nicholas. High five. And your name? Aubrey. Good job, guys. High five. Nice. Yes. One more time. One more time. Up high. Up high. Good job, buddy. He wants the phone. Oh, yeah. That's mom. Good job, guys. You guys have video? Yep. Come right off. No, come right off. Ah, yeah. There we go. Okay, who's shirt is whose? We're not going to put these on because they're still a little wet, but you can hold them. So, uh, here I'm here with uh, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Yeah. How are you? Hi, hi. How are you, Paul? All right, good. Actually, I uh, almost met Wendy on the, uh, on, on the the train on the train <laughs> on the way out. She sat like right next to me over there, and now I recognize that you're here at the uh, ALS uh, uh, Iceberg Challenge. Yeah, you got it. All right, see Wendy. She could have helped me on the train. <laughs> Maybe you could have written the the book that I'm writing. So, uh, what what brings you here? I came here for the party and to do the ice bucket challenge. I haven't done it yet so far, so. Uh -huh. Looking and, to and, do and it. And Looking forward to it. And how come? What inspired you to do this, do you think? Um, I think it's a great cause. I think it's a really amazing cause, and I think I want to keep the chain going. So. Okay. And do you know who you're going to, uh, 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 you know, at the end of it, I believe you say, you mentioned some people's names. Who oh, I have then, to nominate some I people. I think you have to nominate, like, to some people. Uh, oh, a lot of my friends have done it already. Uh huh. So <laughs> maybe you can come up with some someone. Yeah, I'll have to think of three people. Three people, All right? right? Uh, here see, we go. Look, uh, a couple kids just went and did it. Well, this is good. Do you do charitable work? Is that is that in your nature? Do you yes, like to do it is. That? I love. Yes, very into charity. All right, into. beautiful. What well, last question? What's good news for you? What's good news? Yeah, what makes you happy? A beautiful sunny day and uh, good friends. All right, beautiful. Thanks so much. Thank you.